one seat got filled or remained filled on Saturday as Martin Truex Jr. announced that he would stay in the number 19 car. Well, now two more seats are going to remain filled. So that answers some more silly season questions. That is the front row cars, the 34 and the 38. Now these, th these two, there was a lot of questions around them because there were three realistic options for them. You had Michael McDowell, the 2021 Daytona 500 champion, Todd Gilliland, who's had an outstanding year, and Truck Series champion Zane Smith, all under front row racing. They are all racing for them right now. Of course, Zane Smith's still in the Truck Series. So the question was, which two are going to remain and which one is front row essentially going to let go? Well, that question has been answered. In 2024, and the number 34 car is... 2021 Daytona 500 champion Michael McDowell. And in the 38 car, who is it going to be? Zane Smith, who front row made time in their schedule on the cup side of things to put in the car, the 38 car, and booted Todd Gilliland out for a few races. Or the guy who got booted out, Todd Gilliland. Todd Gilliland will be in the number 38 car next year. This was an extremely tricky spot for front row because... All three have been great. <laughs> uh, Michael McDowell is having a great year. Todd Gilliland is having a great year. Zane Smith, um, while not in the Cup Series yet, will be in the Cup Series soon. And this honestly might answer a question about him. But we see Todd Gilliland and Michael McDowell back. And uh, I'll read the press release, then I'll give you my opinion. Front Row Motorsports exercises option on Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland. That's the title of it. With a continued increase in performance and commercial success, Front Row Motorsports has exercised its option on drivers Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland for the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. Both the drivers will compete in all NASCAR Cup Series events. That is a very significant note. Both Michael and Todd are like family to me, said Bob Jenkins, owner of Front Row Motorsports. They have been determined to make the team better each season, and they just keep fighting to do that. I'm proud of both, and now we will be focused on the remainder of 2023 and prepare for 2024 to be even better. Yes, now that it is official that Todd Gillen and Michael McDowell are back, uh, I'm really excited for this. Uh, Michael McDowell obviously is having a fantastic year. Statistically, he's a little bit behind in terms of the amount of top 10s and top 5s last year. Uh, in terms of the on pace last year, he had 12 top 10 finishes. Right now, he has five through 23 races. But the big thing for McDowell this year is he is on the playoff bubble in points. Front Row Motorsports has made the playoffs before with Michael McDowell back in 2021. Uh, but that was through a win. And that is how they made the playoffs. They have never pointed their way into the playoffs it's a very good possibility that Michael McDowell can point his way into the playoffs right now. I mean, McDowell is only a few points behind. I think it's three points, if I remember correctly. And we got two road courses and a super speedway coming up. McDowell is a great road course racer. He's gotten multiple top fives at road courses, top tens. Uh, and then, of course, the super speedway, his one career win is at a super speedway. And it's at this specific speed uh super speedway daytona so while mcdowell is currently out it's very possible he could point his way in and the fact that they're even in this position is extremely impressive front row racing uh or front row motorsports has usually been a mid-pack team i would say they usually at best are 20th in the points around there but for the most part, they've been, you know, kind of 23rd to 30th in points, depending on the year. So to see this step up, and especially with a first-year crew chief for Michael McDowell after Blake Harris left, for them to step in and perform excellently, consistently. I mean, McDowell's average finish this year, 18.7. Last year was a little bit better. It was a 16.7, but still, the fact that he's got an opportunity to make the playoffs, I think that's huge for Michael McDowell to be in that position. And I don't think it was a question unless SHR offered McDowell the 10 or something. I don't think there was any chance that McDowell uh, or front row would let McDowell walk. So I think McDowell for sure was a lock, but it was the other car that front row had to make a decision on. And Todd Gilliland was what they decided. I like Todd Gilliland. He's a good driver, I think. Uh, he's 
seems like a fun personality. And I think he's gotten, you know, screwed in a couple times in his career. Uh, I didn't like the decision earlier in the year to take six races away from Todd Gilliland for Zane Smith. And I think I've said this multiple times. It's nothing against Zane Smith. He's a great talent. He's a truck series champion. He's going to be in the cup series one day. But Todd Gilliland, he, he didn't do anything wrong. Like just, they ran the third car in the Daytona 500. You can't do that third car six race. I mean, I get there's financial stuff, but you know, I just thought Todd Gilliland kind of got screwed in that situation. But Todd Gilliland has been proving front row wrong, or I guess proving front row wrong, maybe, or proving them right. I, I, I don't know, but uh, Todd Gillen's had a fantastic year. His average finish is up two spots. It was a 23.2 last year through 23 races. This year, it is a 21st place average finish. He has three top 10s. Last year, he only had two top 10s and a top five. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's one spot better in the points, but Todd Gillen's had a fantastic year in that front row 38 car. The 38 car has lacked consistency in terms of a driver. In 2019, what was it, David Reagan or something? 2020, it was John Hunter Nemechek. 2021, Anthony Alfredo. 2022, Todd Gilliland. And 2023, Todd Gilliland. And now 2024, Todd Gilliland. So finally, that 38 car seeing some consistency in terms of having the same driver to kind of build around, same driver to, you know, something consistent. That's the word I keep using. They finally have some something to be familiar with. Uh, so I think that's a really good choice by them. As I said, Todd Gillen's been great this year. Uh, he's been very consistent this year. Uh, it's been impressive. Uh, I think he's done great this year. There's, there's really not much else to say uh, other than he's been great this year. But the guy who got left out of the lineup is Zane Smith. So front row also said... Uh, on top of you know exercising their option for McDowell, they also said we continue discussions with Zane Smith as he also explores other opportunities. I think Zane Smith is still technically under contract with Front Row. Maybe I'm not sure how that contract is, but Zane Smith has a lot of options. If you ask me, he as I said I like 50 times already. He's the Truck Series champion. Once again, he's like top three in points. Uh, in the regular season so he's been having another fantastic year for front row and he's a he's a very highly regarded talent who is going to move up whether it's xfinity or cup and that's where i think he is going to go i think he's going to be in the cup series i think that eric almirola is going to retire if we're making a prediction this is my prediction i think eric almirola is going to retire and i think zane smith is going to go to the 10 car I think the options for the 10 car, if Almirola was going to retire, was going to be the loser of the front row situation, which would be the guy who gets left out because all three have been driving terrifically in the past year. So I think SHR, they were going to look at guys in the Ford camp and obviously in the Xfinity series. You know, you look at SHR's Xfinity program right now, bringing up Custer after putting him back for a year, I think that's too quick. Riley Herbst isn't ready, so you got to look elsewhere in the Ford camp. Why not look at front row? Uh, they have three great options for the front row cars. Someone's going to get left out unless they open up a third full-time team, which they don't want to do, it doesn't seem like. And I think the guy who gets left out is going to go to SHR. And it's not even left out. I'm saying left out as if it's a bad thing. Maybe SHR was saying like, hey, we will take Zane, pay a buyout on his contract so you guys can keep your driver lineup. Or they said they somehow discussed it maybe. But I think that Zane Smith, while yes, he's not getting it a full-time ride with front row in 2024, I think things will still work out for Zane Smith. Um, I think he will be in the 10 car if I had to guess. I really do think Eric Almirola is actually going to retire this time. If Zane Smith can bring some sponsorship over there. Uh, Tony Stewart, I know he said he doesn't want to put a rich kid in the car or something, but uh, sponsorship does run this thing. Uh, but Zane Smith, he would not just be a rich kid getting in that car. He does have a lot of talent. Uh, he's a very good race car driver, and I think SHR to have a young driver like that in their car would be big for them. But the big news today, Front Row Motorsports has confirmed that their driver lineup in 2024 will be Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland. I'm very excited for that. I love that decision by them. 
and we will see what ends up happening with Zane Smith. Uh, got a video later today coming out if you missed the announcement in the post. I do a series every year where we go through all 16 playoff drivers and I give a case for why they are going to win the championship. We're going to start with Martin Truex Jr. today. Tomorrow will be Denny Hamlin. Friday will be William Byron. Then we will start it back up again next week. Uh, keep up with the community post. I will update you there. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video, whether it's uh, Martin Truex Jr.'s championship case or if there's any more news today.